Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Madam Noon Binti Muhammad Noor. See you again in this video. So for today's video, I will discuss about the lab report for the experiment 1 which is the title is Capacitor. Before I continue, I just want to remind all students, this is only the, the guidance for you to write the lab report. Okay, so if you have any question, you still need to refer to your practical lecturer. But as usual, before you come to the class, before you enter the lab to do the experiment, make sure that you read the, and understand the objective and the theory of the experiment. And also, before you do the experiment, you need to think and plan the working procedure properly for the whole experiment. Make sure that you have appropriate table for the data. And when you do the experiment, first you need to check the apparatus provided and please note down the important information about the apparatus such as the range and sensitivity of the measuring apparatus that you will use. You need to arrange all the apparatus accordingly following the procedure and conduct the experiment carefully. At the same time, you need to record all the measurement and observation made during the experiment. Before you write down the lab report, I suggest that you follow this report format. This is only the suggestion. If you follow this format, I'm sure that you will not miss any item that you are supposed to discuss in your lab report. For example, you divide your test pack into three parts, three columns. The first column is item, second column is content, and the third column is marks. For the column item, you're supposed to write down the title, objective, apparatus, observation, discussion, and conclusion. So, it will guide you for the lab report writing. So, uh, to start the report writing, you need to start with the title and objective. Write down the title, which is for the experiment 1. The title is capacitor. And for the objective is to determine the time constant of an RC circuit and to determine the capacitance of a capacitor using an RC circuit. The third part is apparatus. So the table of the apparatus is given to you in the lab uh, report instruction. So you just need to fill up the range and sensitivity for the uh, specific apparatus. For example, for the first experiment, you need to write down the range and sensitivity for the DC microemitter and stopwatch. Please do take note that for the range, the way you write down, the range is supposed to be in bracket and outside is the unit. Same thing uh, for the sensitivity, you need to supposed to write down the plus minus and then you, you write down the sensitivity. So this is the range and sensitivity for the DC microemitter and also the stopwatch. After you fill up the apparatus, you need to do the observation. So our observation is divided into two parts. The first part is the raw data and the second part is the data processing. For the raw data, first you need to fill up I know the value that needed. Okay, and then make sure that in your table, the decimal places is equal to the sensitivity of the apparatus that you use and supposed to be consistent the decimal places. Okay, for all data. For the data processing, after you complete table 1.1 and table 1.2, you need to plot the graph of I against T and I prime against T prime. You must plot the graph on the same graph paper. Total marks for the graph in this experiment is 9 marks, where referring to the graph sketching below, title of the graph uh, is 1 marks. You label the X and Y axis correctly, 1 marks. Suitable scale for the X and Y axis also 1 marks. For the point plotted, you will get 2 marks if you plot all the points correctly for both graph. Okay, And then both graph, the shape of both graph is curve shape. So that's also 2 marks. And to determine the value of the time constant tau and tau prime from the graph, you need to do the extrapolation at 37% of the I node at the Y component to the X component for the value of tau and tau prime. So this will give you another 2 marks. So total marks for the graph plotting is 9 marks. 
after you determine the value of tau for the first experiment, you can calculate the capacitance of the cap uh, first capacitor using the equation of tau is, is equal to RC1. You substitute the value and you get the capacitance of the first capacitor which is 2900 microfarad. And then from the tau prime, you can calculate, first you need to calculate the effective capacitance for that capacitor arrangement. And you substitute the R and also the tau prime. So you will get the effective capacitance 6350 microfarad. And then to calculate the C2, we substitute, we use the equation of C effective which is because of it is a parallel arrangement. So C effective is equal to C1 plus C2. And when you, after you substitute the value, you will get the C2, which is equal to 3450 microfarad. So the marks given as shown. The actual value or the theoretical value for the C1 and C2 is 3000 microfarad. Uh, for the discussion, first you need to compare the value of C2 with the actual value. So, you're supposed to write down from the experiment, the value of C2 obtained is 3450 microfarad, which is higher than the actual value of 3000 microfarad. Meaning that when you compare, we need to mention either it is higher or lower or equal, okay, comparing to the actual value. The second part of the discussion is you need to state two sources of error, which is referring to the systematic error and random error, and also the step taken to overcome. So in this table, you can see the source of error and how to write down the step taken to overcome. You just need to give two sources of errors and step taken to overcome, so you will get two marks. So if you give three, it is okay, but you still get two marks. For the third part in the discussion, you need to state two precautions taken before and while doing the experiment. So this is the example of the precaution taken in this experiment. Do take note that for each precaution stated, you must mention why you take that precaution. I just underline few blue lines, few words to show that why the precaution is taken. The last part in your report writing is the conclusion. Before you write down the conclusion, you need to refer to the objective of this experiment. So from this experiment, the time constant is 330 second and 645 second. And you need to state the capacitance of the capacitor C1 and C2 with the correct units. So with all the values correct, you will get 3 marks. I hope that this video will help you to write the report properly, clearly and correctly so that you can get maximum marks in the lab report test next time. So thank you for watching, stay safe and good luck.